Here's how to take your Markdown game to the next level in Visual Studio. Install the free extension Markdown Editor V2. There's other editors out there for Markdown, so it's important you get the one called V2. Opening a Markdown file shows the preview window to the right and the editor to the left. And you can see how it does code formatting really nicely and all the languages are supported. Formatting for making things bold, it's as easy as hitting Control B or Italic Control I, or you can do both. Uh, and it works with the keyboard shortcuts that you're used to from other word processors such as Word. Working with lists are also super intuitive. You just hit enter and it will automatically create a new item. You can use tab to increase or shift tab to decrease the indentation and just hit enter a couple of times and you're out of the list. Mermaid diagrams are also supported. Just create a fence code block with the mermaid moniker and it automatically renders the charts and they're dynamic. So make any changes to the markdown and the preview will update the mermaid chart for you. Other types of mermaid diagrams are supported as well. There's even nice little delighters such as IntelliSense for smileys and emojis. There's also full image support, including the built-in image hover preview. If you were to make an error and point to an image that doesn't exist, the editor will show you the squiggly and tell you about the issue. It will also tell you about other issues that it finds. For instance, when the subheader levels don't match. As you scroll in the editor, you'll notice that the preview window is synchronized in that scrolling. You also get outlining or code folding, as some people call it. And you can even generate a table of content by right clicking in an empty space, which will automatically generate the table of content based on your headers. If you introduce subheaders, then you have to regenerate the table of content and it now reflects those subheaders. I can also work with the images in the clipboard. So let's just take a screenshot and I can go down and into my markdown file, simply hit Control V to paste. That prompts me to save the file on disk and it inserts the file reference and that's it. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.